Okay, in this video, you will learn how to solve questions related to application of integration in relation to cost, uh, revenue, and profit function. Now, some of the important things to note in this topic. When we differentiate the revenue function, we will get marginal revenue, that is dr, dq. Hence, when we integrate marginal revenue, we will get the revenue function, okay? So the same goes for cost. When we differentiate cost, we will get the marginal cost function. That is dc over dq. And when we integrate uh, the marginal cost, we will get back the cost function, c. The same goes for profit. If we differentiate profit, we will get dp over dq, which is the marginal profit. Hence, uh, when we integrate the marginal profit, we will get back the profit function. Okay? Let's look at a sample question here. The management of a company has found that the marginal cost to produce its product is given by C dash. So C dash represents the marginal cost, which is given as 2Q minus 30, with a fixed cost of 990 ringgit. So what is the marginal cost when 200 units of the products are produced? The second question, find the cost function. And the third question, determine its average cost. So 10 marks is allocated for this kind of question. So let's start off with the first question. When Q is equals to 200, remember we are given uh, the quantity equals to 200. We are asked to find the marginal cost. So we have already been given the marginal cost, which is 2Q minus 30. So therefore, when Q is equal to 200, we substitute into the marginal cost function. That is 2Q, substitute Q with 200 minus 30. Alright? So from here, when we simplify 2 times 200, will give us 400. And 400 minus 30 is equal to 370. So therefore, the marginal cost is 370 ringgit. Okay, so for question B, we are asked to find the cost function, but we are given the marginal cost. So remember, in order to change marginal co uh, function to cost function, we have to integrate. Alright, so cost function is equal to integration of marginal cost function. That is 2Q minus 30 compared with Q. So from here, when we integrate 2Q, so we will get 2Q square over 2 minus when we integrate 30, the answer is 30Q plus C. Okay, then simplify. So cancel 2 and 2. We should get Q square minus 30Q plus C. But we need to find C. So how to find C? So we are told that the fixed cost is equal to 990. Therefore, when Q is equal to 0, right? when there is no quantity, the cost given is the fixed cost, which is 990. So therefore, we substitute into uh, the cost function that we have obtained just now. So substitute C with 990, and then Q substitute with 0 minus 30 Q. So substitute Q with 0 plus C. So from here, we will get C equals to 990. So therefore, we, when we substitute C into the cost function, so we will get the cost function C equals to Q square minus 30Q plus 990. Okay? Next, we look at question C. So question C, we are asked to find the uh, average cost. So we have to start off with the cost function which is C equals to Q square minus 30 Q plus 990. In order to find the average cost, the formula is C over Q. So we substitute C with Q square minus 30 Q plus 990. So we divide by Q. In order to divide, we will split into 3. So from here, Q square divide by Q, we will get Q. 30 Q divided by Q, we will get 30. Alright, we can cancel Q. And then 990 divided by Q, we will leave it as 990 over Q. So that's the answer for the average cost. Okay.